I'm Billy Savage. I'm a magistrate and I work for the Home Office. As a Muslim, I work in the community to support the community and to give the community awareness of how we can improve our youth understanding of what Muslim entail, not about what the media perceive radicalization to be. Um, as we all know, in the last couple of years, there has been an issue about terrorism, radicalization among the youth, particularly the young um, Muslim youth. So within our communities, particularly the Nigerian community, I attend a local mosque, uh, Nasrullah Fati, which is Nasfat in, in Bermondsey. I attend a, 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 a mosque there. And I work with various mosques um, to impact on, well, to enlighten them by saying that we have to be careful what our children understand to be Muslim. And part of that is making sure that we can understand our youth, we can understand them, we can teach them the religion rightly, how it should be thought. And as a mother, as a mother, I have three boys. Um, I always would like to make sure that my boys are not mixed with the wrong people. So it is very important for me to make sure that my children are growing up in a society that is not um, dangerous, uh, that my boys are free to understand the essence of religion and to work within the wider community, not just the Muslim community, the wider community to enhance equality and diversity. What would you do to encourage imams or even mothers, Muslim mothers, just to come and talk about these uh, problems? I mean, it's been challenging to engage with a large proportion of imams within the Nigerian community and some mothers there is a, a fear of the unknown, of the negative impact of what the media has portrayed radicalization to be. That fear is not solely the reason. There's lack of engagement also probably because of lack of education, lack of understanding, and lack of what they can do to influence the way forward. What can I do to improve that? We have to keep talking, and that's what I've done. Keep talking, keep explaining to them it is in our own interest that we have to engage. We have to put aside, we have to put aside the differences, what we perceive to be the differences, and come on board to work with the media, the government, the community to say, this is what the Muslim religion is all about. This is how we have to live together. And for me, it's always been about keep listening and keep explaining to the community to say, Yes, there are issues in the media. There are some quotas of the media that might portray us to be terrorists. There might be that has been affecting them. But we have to set aside our differences and work on the positive side. The imams, unfortunately, in the past have been very slow. That is, they've been very slow. The encouragement has to be maintained because we have to get the youth on board. They are the future generation. They have to come on board to understand that unless they come on board to, to showcase the positive aspect of the religion, then we're never going to move forward. For me, it is about motivating and encouraging the youth to come on board, to listen to them, and to let them know that they are part of the solution to the long term of terrorism. They are part of the solution. It is their world out there, it is their future, and they have to be seen as being positive role model as well. So I will keep listening, I will keep arranging, and I'll be going to the wider community, creating awareness about when there is need for us to speak out, we need to speak out. We must be sure, we must be slow, we must be coming forward to work with the community, to work with the government, and to work with schools. I think that is the key aspect of what is lacking, and I hope that we can do that. Thank you so much.